Hello and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chi. Yes, it's Chu here. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing today, Mum? Oh, uh, you tell me what we're doing today. Well, that's unusual. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Ketchup, we... mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So this is basically a sort of condiment as well as a ingredient used to cook. It's it's like a sweet soy sauce, really. Yes, it's sweet soy sauce. Ketchup, mayonnaise, means sweet. Yeah, it originates in Indonesia and Malaysia. Yeah. Us obviously being Malaysian Chinese, we thought we'd start making this as the start of the Malaysian street food things um, because it's fairly heavily used and it's quite easy. You just drizzle or you rice sometime. Yeah. Or whatever you like. Yeah, used a lot in like. Um, it's like the sweetening in um, satay, yeah. like traditional satay uses this, not uh, sugar. But anyway, we'll go on with this. Yes. And yeah, we're gonna get on with it and show you how to do it. Yeah, and in case you don't know, yeah, I'm a fifth gen Chinese Malaysian chef. Our well, family had street food stores out in there now. So, so don't go away. Boom. Stay tuned. Right. So here we go. This is genuinely super easy. So we're gonna put five or six. Starting. Yeah good ones in there. You put more or less if you want. It's just up to you. We like it quite aniseedy. And 150 grams of light mascarpone sugar. Most call for dark. We find it a bit bitter. Yeah, we prefer the lighter one. Yeah, the, the yeah. dark mascarpone is just a, a bit bitter. But if we have dark, you can use dark. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Or you can do a, light, a dark version and a light one, see which one you prefer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 150 millilitres of water. I'm going to use 200 millilitres of this first extract dark soy. By Amoy, today we're using. This, this bit always takes forever. Come on. No song for this occasion, Mum? No, yeah, I did. I did think about a, a song. Do you sit? Do you sit there and just think? No, what song am I going to sing this time? Get it starting. You know, I think it's by the Fergie or Black Eyes Peas. She was in the Black Eyes Peas. She's called Fergie. Yeah, Fergie delicious work. Yeah. And we go. In it go. Oh, in the pot. You want to get that all out? Yeah. Words today. Today is too shiny. That's why. And the wind is blowing. So we're going to put this on a high heat first and we're going to stir it until that um, sugar is dissolved. This shouldn't take long, 20-25 minutes max. Yeah. It can be difficult to get your eye in though because when it's hot it will be different consistency than when it is cold. When it's cold it's like tr treacle-ish but not quite as um, thick. What would you call it? Like golden syrup? No, that's a bit thick in there. Like honey. A bit runny, isn't it? Well, honey's a bit runny. Yeah. Not unless you get cold and set. Yeah, that's true. It's difficult to describe. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> because there's so many forms of description, isn't it? There are. Yes. There's so many descriptions. A little bit runny or a little bit thick in between. Yeah, you don't, basically, you don't want it to be rock hard. It's got to be pourable. Right, you just uh, let it... Do its thing. Yeah, let it do its thing. Let it work it, work it, work it, work it. Who's, who's that? No, don't, you you sung that right there. I have no idea what song that was before. Yeah, someone someone had that song. I can't remember. Someone had you a song from Work It, Work It, yeah. Work It. I don't. One of you will know. If you know, put it in the comments box, huh? Yeah, huh? <laughs> it's just nice watching that water and liquid to start boiling, isn't it? Mm. I haven't done my hair. Yeah, pattern in it. It's like. See through the what do you call it? Puddle? No. Mud? No, is that goggles? Oh, no. kaleidoscope. Yeah, kaleidoscope. <laughs> <laughs> so that was so close. Kaleidoscope. No, I can't say uh, it now. <laughs> it's alright. It's not a word you're going to need to know. No. <laughs> Except for this exact situation. Classic me, I forgot to mention. Quarter teaspoon of MSG. And that's it's, it. Yeah, it's never too late for that. You can add it anytime. And when it comes to a fierce boil like this, because of the sugar, it will start to rise. So you want to knock down the heat quite quickly so it doesn't pour over. Yeah. And then you want to maintain this sort of temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. So a medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. Or if you find it's too bubbly and it's trying to bubble over again, knock it down to a low, then turn yes. it back up, knock it down to a low. Side note, say thank you for all the free content. Check out our web store, chillandchew.com, where we sell all the ingredients the Chinese takeaways use. For those who use our web store, thank you very much for your support. It means a lot, Thumbs thank up. you. We do mean it from the bottom of our heart. Yeah. Yes. From so here. Sometimes it's quite overwhelming actually. Yeah. Also, we have Patreon as well if you'd like to support us on there. And thank you for all the Patreon. Yeah. Thank you very much. And channel subscribers as well. Yes. 
Right, so this has been on for about 20 minutes and it still looks fairly liquid, but it will thicken up to be viscous like that when it cools down. Yeah. So you take that off and um, decant it. You can leave the star anise in there if you want. I do, because I like it to diffuse more flavour, but if it's too much for you, by all means, take them out. Yes. When it's cooled down, it'd be ready to use. Okay, so here you have it. This is how we would typically use it. This is so quick. Obviously, you can use like packet rice if you want. I'll uh, just fry it leg, put some crispy fried onions in the top, some chilli, drizzled it with this kajak manis, and a little bit of Maggi sauce. And the way you do this is you use the yolk as, as almost a, um, a bit of a sauce as well. Mm. You can taste the sweetness, but it's not sweet. It has a flavour. That's mm. what you're trying to say, isn't it? Yeah. It's very subtle. It's like sweet, but rich. But like rich with flavour, not rich with like... Rich. Sickly rich. Yeah. Mm. Me or that, huh? The more the memory. Oh, it's just so good. Yeah. Just a boy rice egg and that's it. Done. There you have it. Kajak manis. Super easy. Super delicious, super effective. Yeah. About making things also delicious. Thank you for watching, and thank you for all the subscribers. Likes and comments, keep watching. Commenting and liking helps loads, so please yeah. do that. And mum? Happy cooking, happy eating. Take care, guys.